Hi, I'm Joe Noga from Cleveland.com, and I'm here with Rick Finati at St. Edward, and we're going to jump in the car, and you're going to come along for a ride. Looking forward to it. You mentioned that you're a Seinfeld fan. Huge Seinfeld fan, my wife and I, and uh, we've seen them live. Um, and anytime that TV show's on, mm -hmm. it's on in the kitchen. We love it. I mean, we, we grew up, our kids, both of my two children, they know who uh, Art Vandalay is and Bob Seccomano. You know, <laughs> so you know, if you know those two characters, uh, you're, you're a big Seinfeld fan. Yeah. The best episode for me is Art Vandalay. You know, in, in the latex, and Costanza was making all these excuses and trying to make it look like he's going for work. So my background is, is I grew up in Euclid, mm -hmm. um, grew up in Euclid, went to Holy Cross grade school, and then I went to uh, St. Joe's High School. Okay. So my junior year was the last year it was St. Joe's. My senior year was the first year it was VASJ. Oh. So, and, and, and moved, then moved to Mayfield once my wife was uh, teaching in the Mayfield, and I were both teaching in the Mayfield district. And so you played for the Vikings? Right? Yeah, I yeah, played for legendary coach Bill Guprod uh, okay. and John Story. Yeah. Uh, I was the uh, the blue-collar player. I uh, always aspired to be a linebacker. Uh, never had, had quite the skills to do that, so I played offensive line. About our senior year, we won a state championship. I was a messenger guard. So me and, this, and, and John Wartell, would, we would get the play from Coach Guprod, we'd sprint all the way out of the field, mm -hmm. tell the play, sprint right off. So I was, I was in good shape. In high school, what kind of player were you? Were you the kind of kid that you would want to coach now? Yeah, yeah, I, I think so, obviously. You know, I, I was just a guy that didn't take anything for granted. That uh, You know, when you wanted to put that, uh, uh, you know, that blue and red on, you know, for St. Joe's, you, you uh, there was a lot of pride. You know, you had to be tough, you had to be physical, and, uh, you know, the commitment level had to be there. Once I got out of football, after I graduated, and I was out of football for, for about 10 years, you know, just in the working world, raising a family, then you realized all the little things and why you're successful and why you're doing things and the lessons you're teaching your kids, and it kind of goes back to school. It kind of hit me, like, man, I learned a lot of this stuff in football. You know, at St. Joe's, right off the lake in the cold weather and, and the, you know, running the hills. We ran this cliff every day after practice. And you'd have all your full pads, and we were running. We were, sometimes you'd have to use all four mm -hmm. to get up the hill. But it, a lot of those life lessons kept coming back to football. Got what's, what's fun about the game for you? You know what? To me, I love the practice. I, I love the, the camaraderie. I love seeing... Uh, the guys compete on a daily basis. You know, I think the games, especially for a head coach, can be a little stressful. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you're trying to keep everything together. But I really, I think the fun is 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 just the uh, you know the before practice, after practice, during practice. You know, when you get to really get to know these kids. Uh, what's your What's your guilty pleasure? Boy, me food. I mean, it's, I, I'm always, if I'm not studying football plays, I'm looking at a recipe and, and uh, food always, you know, Sundays. Uh, my mother was a tremendous cook every night, dinner, mm -hmm. you know, all the different recipes. So I, I learned a lot about cooking. I share a lot of recipes with, uh, with my mom and, uh, <laughs> you know, try to uh, aspire to be as good a cook as she is. Uh, Italian uh yeah. Background, yeah. So, so my yeah. mother learned all her oh. recipes from my nona, which was my, you know, an Italian his grandmother. Mm -hmm. So um, she learned all the recipes and was passed down. So spaghetti and meatballs were a staple. Oh. Not only were they a staple on Sunday, but the leftovers for the next three nights was was even better. Yeah. Who who makes you laugh? You yeah. know, my son, my son Frank. He was a senior on the 2010 state championship team, and. He, ever since he was a kid, he was one of the guys that just loved to bust chops and uh, <laughs> just the energy. Some of the things that he would do at first is about him, like, is uncomfortable. Like, well, he, he's pretty wild and would say some funny stuff, but uh, he, he could always get me going. Soft side? You know, what, totally, what brings out totally. your soft side? You know, it's hilarious. My daughter played competitive softball, travel softball, and we would go with these families on the weekends, and they go, I, I saw you on TV. I didn't know how to take you at first because... You're not the same guy on TV. And, and, and that's what I try to tell our kids. You know, you, you can be a competitive animal on the field, but when you're off, you got, you got to be, you know, a quality human being and, and be there for your family. And, and Best player you've ever seen as, as a player or as an opposing coach? Well, there was two guys. You know, one was, was Desmond Howard. You know, Desmond Howard played running back. He, he was a defensive back. I mean, everything he did was exciting. You know, and he had a great lighthearted, you know, fun sense of humor to him, you, you know, and, and he was he was just tremendous to be around. And a guy that I always looked, you know, watched and, and wanted to be like was we had a middle linebacker that year, Scott Zelly was a, uh, he was an animal, a complete animal. Um, 
great football player, played fullback, played linebacker, and uh, wound up having a great college career. You know, those are the two guys that really stood out to me during that time growing up. What about uh, players you've coached against opposing? Well, you know, the way that this game has evolved so much uh, at the quarterback position, you know, Braxton Miller, our 2010 state championship, he, he was he was a tough guy to contain. Mm -hmm. You know, I kind of look back and, man, did our kids play well uh, enough to beat them and contain them. You know, I, I think all the coaches around, you know, around my age and my era can, can really relate to Jim Trussell. I think Jim had a, a large impact on – the, uh, all Ohio coaches. He, he was inviting. I mean, there were times where we would call Coach Truss and, and we would get Luke Fickle for a few hours, do some linebacker fundamentals, and he would just give us a room to go watch film and always check in on us and give us some insight and in how he took care of the player. And I know eventually that was the criticism he took, but mm -hmm. the way he took care of his players and the way that they would talk about him, you know, that that's the, that's the good stuff in coaching, and that's the stuff that uh, you always want to be remembered for. It doesn't get much bigger than the the game in week ten. No, no. I mean it, it's it, it's it's a big game and and it's a uh, and it should be. It's an important game. A lot of these guys are, are are good friends off the field. I mean, there's tremendous coaches on both sides. The energy level is is uh, exciting and and uh, you know and I don't think it's overwhelming at all. You know, it, it's it, it gives you great energy and some teams have played real well and and like us, we, we didn't play that well last year in it. You hope. Know, a lot of our underclassmen can learn from that and, and control their emotions. But the game of football, those emotions are good, but they're also at times, if you don't control them the proper way, they can get away from you. Uh, Coach, uh, again, I think we learned a lot. There's, Like you said, there's there's, there's Coach Finati on the sideline, and then there's Coach Finati in the cars is, is a completely different guy. Uh, I think the, the viewers really appreciate that. Well, well, we have a lot of fun doing it, and I hope we, you had a lot of fun watching us here. Uh, coaches riding cars with coaches. Uh, look for more, uh, and, and we'll try to get out on the road with your coach. Thanks. Take care.